Welcome to this video against Marsamek from Argentina. Um, Grunfeld or King's Indian? Let's see. King's Indian. Well, um, just to make you know a different game, maybe I, I I start something totally different from what I used to play. So. Um, like a queen's pawn uh, opening and yeah let's keep the bishop here in any case so it's not the typical um, king's indian setup that blacks normally is playing um, what is this queen doing here Hmm. Okay, I just protect the pawn b2, but now I wonder what this queen is doing here. Yeah, I mean, it's. Well, okay, I just castle, and then maybe I play on the queen side, and it's now even easier for me because the queen is a quite a simple target. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I just push for, uh, for c5, I guess. Black squares are really weak here, so bishop d6 is an option. Um, he already has <laughs> some problems with his queen. Just imagine he plays queen c6, bishop b5, and um, uh huh. Can I play b4? Well, or just play a3 and b4. If he plays knight e4, you just take it. No problem, because my queen is protected. Um, yeah, I will play b4. Yeah, so the position is already very, very difficult for black, I would say. If not lost, because I um, there, where, where is his counterplay? Normally he should try to push for e5, which is not that easy at the moment. And... I will just gain a lot of space here on the queen side. Mm. Yeah, I think the bishop here on d6 is a monster. It's very strong. And I could even think about playing g4 here, by the way. Yeah, but I let, let it here uh, stay like it is. And. Okay, he pushes for e5, maybe. But if I take here um, with a knight, I mean, this looks really dangerous for him here, this knight on h5. But what about playing just knight e5 here right away? I mean, he can play that he takes here with the knight, but in the end, he doesn't have a square for this knight, so... Well, I, I like this very much, so he needs to move his knight here first, I guess. And then I could try to push for f4, which is gaining even more space. So you can see that he doesn't have that much room to maneuver, and I have a lot of space. My pawns are here on the fourth rank. Yeah, and he... Look at these pieces here. The bishop doesn't even have has a square. So maybe he should make some drastic moves in, in the near future, so even playing f6 and uh huh. Okay. Hmm. Maybe this is not that bad. This move. Hmm. Yeah. What happens after g3? He will just take. Okay, because my idea was just because um, if he takes on h3, I can play bishop g4, and his queen is lost. Um, maybe he wants now to play here to take here, 
on e5 and afterwards taking on b4. Um, he can also play knight f4. Hmm. Is it an idea just to move the knight back? And yeah, whenever he plays e5, I just take uh, two times and then I take on, on h5. So, uh huh. Okay. Um, because he's threatening to take here on c3 later on, I, I just thought for a moment not to take with the pawn, but to take with my knight, threatening knight c7. Well, uh, what happens after g4? He doesn't have a square for his knight. So I have two threats now. Um, what's the point of g4? What does he want to play? Okay, I need to play quicker. So it's total domination, I would say. Look at all my pieces. Very well coordinated. Um, I win this stranded knight. Um, I just have a little time, so I need to speed up. Maybe I just exchange queens afterwards. Queen g5, he needs to exchange because otherwise his rook would be hanging. And yeah, this is, should be a very easy win. So uh, let's speed up. Here can I directly exchange queens, which is really nice. Piece up, bishop h5 is coming. Um, yeah, so now the pawn on f7 is hanging. I can take uh, the pawn on e6 afterwards. Um, everything yeah, is under control, I would say. Knight f6, okay, I just take here. Maybe I, I use my rooks now on the g file also. This pawn becomes very strong now on c6. Um, Okay, yeah, I just take and then I take the rook, maybe. Uh, the, the knight, sorry. Um, yeah. So I'm so many pieces up here. I can't afford that he, I lose this, this, this pawn here, it doesn't matter at all. Um, uh, rook d5. Is there a checkmate somewhere? 23 seconds. Here we go. All right. So, um, yeah. What to take out of this game? I mean, um, I think he de developed his queen in a very strange way here with queen b6. It just helped me um, because I could take could attack the queen very very easy. So you shouldn't you know develop your queen that quick in the opening um, you could see that I here I gained a lot of time um, sorry here yeah, b4 again so he moved the queen from 2b6 to a5 to d8 again and in the meantime I gained a lot of space and again he moves his queen now here to h4 and he didn't develop all his pieces here on the queen side so 
yeah again uh, like in the previous game I think the opening was not played that good by black um, you should develop your pieces here again all these pieces are not developed and you shouldn't move your queen that quick in the game often sometimes it's good but in this case again you could see it didn't help that much thanks for watching